Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Yang Yang Table Tennis Tutorials as we talked about in the last video. Today, I will teach you three effective serve strategies that you could use in the game. Which serve to plan? How to prepare for your opponent's serve return? And which two or three serves mixed together would be better for your game? You will find out in this video. So let's jump into it. First of all, let's take a look at this picture. It is a table tennis table. O shots for opponent, U shots for you. I divided the table into six parts on the opponent's side. I marked the name for each area, like right shot, center shot, left lung, and so on. Just for you to easily understand which placement I'm going to talk about in the following lesson. The first serve strategies I'm going to teach you is to mix on the spin and no spin together. Serve shot to opponent's right or center placement. And it's better to serve shot on the spin ball first. Shot means it would be hard for your opponent to attack directly. Serve on the spin means it forces your opponent to push back so you could have a better chance to attack first. After some on-the-spin shot serve, then try to mix some no-spin shot serve together because your opponent already have aware that the shot ball you serve is on-the-spin. So most likely, they would push back again on your follow-in shot serve. So it would be your chance to attack on a poor serve return. Key points to remember. Try to make the movements of underspin and no spin serve looks almost the same. Prepare and ready to attack when you serve the no spin ball. Otherwise, you will miss the opportunity. Here comes the second serve strategy, similar as the first one. For the first serve strategy, we make the different spin together. On the spin and a no spin. But for the second serve strategies, we we'll mix different placement together. Short serve and a long serve. After I serve the sun shot on the spin ball to my opponent's right area close to the net, his attention would be more on there. He thinks I will serve most of my balls to that area. So intentionally or unintentionally, he would step in a little bit and get closer to the table. When you notice that, then you know here comes your opportunity. Key points to remember. Try to make right short ball really right and short, and make the left long ball really left to the corner and long. That will make the strategy work better. Second, it is hard to serve long and on the spin ball, so try to practice more by yourselves before you use it. Because if you use it but you miss your serve, it equals to tell your opponent directly that you will use this strategy, so they would be more prepared next time. The third and the last serve strategy is the most complicated one. But don't worry, I will explain to you step by step. And trust me, as long as you learned it, you will benefit a lot from this serve strategy. So what is left side spin ball? When you use forehand serve, contact the ball on the left side. It is left side spin ball. So, 
What if you opponent doesn't adjust his racket? Where the ball will fly to? Let's try it out. The ball will fly to my left side and most likely it will go out of the table. So what should I prepare? Yes, right after serve, move more to your right hand side and ready to use forehand to attack and try to get a point. Key points to remember. Try to make movement of your topspin serve looks like an underspin serve. So they would return as a push. You would have a better chance to kill the ball. When you serve a left side spin to your opponent's right shot area, if your opponent is a high level player, he would do a forehand flick to your forehand side. Be prepared for that. What is right side spin? When you use backhand or reverse pendular serve, contact the ball on the right side, like this. It is right side spin. Serve the right side spin ball to your opponent's center shot area. First, they wouldn't know how to return the right side spin ball. Second, the center area would make them feel confused about which way to return, forehand or backhand. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. This video is a little complicated for you, but don't worry. Watch it more on the most difficult part. I'm sure you will figure out eventually. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, like and share my video. Alright, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.